Alright, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. I'm going to do the uh, solo to uh, Pretty Little Lies. Now, I'm not going to do it like I said um, in the first part. I'm not going to be able to do it like the record. It has a, he has a B bender and it's not going to work. So I just made up my own solo. Um, pretty simple. I think most people should uh, be able to do this and, and have fun with it. Um, a little lesson in there that we'll go over in a little bit. So uh, let's jump right into the solo. Okay, so the first part, I'll just follow the tab, check it out. You're bending the, uh, you're bending up to the E. This is going from the, uh, going from the E minor to the D, by the way. So you're basically just following the chord here. And you're just pulling off. Okay, now I believe on the tab, I think I may have slid into the 12th fret. It's actually the 14th fret. You slide into the A. And um, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward there. that part there this is where you're going um going now you're not going to start on the one by the way you're going to be starting on the end of the one so it'll be like one and um yeah just follow the uh follow the tab there you want to let some of the notes ring together and um and use some slides there too okay moving on Okay, now, same, same thing here. You're not going to be coming in on the one, on the uh, fifth fret here. So you're going to be coming in on the and. And you want to use slides and, um, you know, just use your ear. Listen to uh, what sounds good. And um, when, you, when you hit this uh, sec the second fret, third and first string, that's, you're going to be on the D chord. When you're on the D chord, you're going to play this. Just look at the tab. You're going to, you want these notes to ring together, the first and second strings. And then you're going to do it again. And you're doing a, I just added a slight bend in there. Um, it's like a quarter bend. It's not a full or half bend. Um, I just thought it sounded better. And experiment with um, with notes to uh, to let ring there. Uh, whatever you know sounds good to your ear, go ahead and go for it. Um, that's about it, man. That's about the whole uh, the whole solo. It's a short little solo. I thought I'd throw it up there. Um, also, I got this mic, so I want to test that out and see how that's going. And um, I also got this. Uh, I don't know if you can see this here. It's called a kill switch. And that's so I can kill the uh, the vocals while I'm talking and I can then uh, continue on. So it's just so the guitar doesn't pick up, uh, I mean the mic doesn't pick up the guitar. And uh, you get like bleed over and it can sound, uh, sound kind of horrible actually. So uh, yeah, it seems like it's working pretty good. It's called a Rolls MS-111 mic switch. Uh, they had a few of them uh, on uh, Amazon. One was uh, like... $80. This was like 40 so I got this one. I mean, it's just a kill switch. It's not like it's doing anything other than just killing the signal. I don't see why I pay twice as much to do that. But uh, it's built pretty good. It's uh, steel. It's pretty sturdy. And uh, I think it'll do the job. Okay, anyway, that's about it for the uh, guitar solo. Um, just go ahead and down. I have the tab.